every new journey in a theater is a kind of a starting a new life journey. It's not only a professional journey, it's also a life journey. It's existential. Bulgarian director Yavor Gardev has made a name for himself through his aggressive productions that feature sparse, dystopian sets, stark lighting and brutality on stage. His audiences leave shaken, yet captivated. Gardev was born in Sofia in 1972 and earned master's degrees there in philosophy and stage direction. He has directed almost 40 theatre productions as well as radio plays, videos, performance art and an opera. He is known for innovations that have included staging a play in an underground wine cellar and rewriting the endings of Shakespeare's works. Gardev's Tempest, for instance, concluded with a suicide bombing. His sets have had moving conveyor belts to whisk actors and props on and off the stage, and a gangway erected above the front seats so the actors could perform in the centre of the house. In 2008, Gardev released his first feature film, Zift, a non-linear, neo-noir black comedy. We met with him at the National Palace of Culture in Sofia something that philosophers try to do with their mind I'm trying to do in the space with other people. I don't know, probably the transcendence of reality is something that I uh, would like to do with, uh, with the art. Every performance, uh, every new project you start, uh, it's a different situation, different social situation that you have to deal with. Uh, that you have to provoke, that you have to work with, uh, that you have to consider, that you have to uh, moderate in a way. And sometimes uh, it's quite heavy, sometimes it's uh, really easy and you just enjoying it and uh, it gives you a different perspective each time. So I could say uh, in each particular, for each particular case it's a different uh, it's a different profession, even. I mean, really different. Well, Zift, uh, this is a metaphor in our case, but you know, originally uh, it's an Arabic word that means um, uh, pitch black, very dark black, and also means this uh, uh, concentrated asphalt, the concentrated substance of the asphalt. So it's something like asphalt, and the third meaning in the, in the urban slang, New York urban slang, it means it. So we actually made use of all these meanings of the word. Um, and it became a particular metaphor for the Bulgarian society of the totalitarian communist era. The answer is just as much as the large ones, so much as the small ones. The moral is not the material. So when you make a performance, it usually says more than you can say with words and this is the reason actually one makes performances. If you have enough empathy and if you're able to really get into deeper relations uh, then it becomes really interesting and thrilling to make theatre. It gives you the possibility uh, to interact with people and uh, first of all not to be so lonely or inhabiting virtual spaces but to be in a real space with real people uh, and 
to feel uh, real emotions, to provoke real emotions and to try to make sense out of some written material. Uh, this is a great feeling. Uh, when you have this responsibility uh, and it's, you know, you always feel this kind of even guilt if uh, uh, if we quote Kafka here, you, al you always have some kind of feeling of guilt uh, when you make uh, um, an artwork. I don't know why this, um, why you feel that, but, but it's present there. So you feel responsible for the whole world, as if, uh, as if the stop of a performance would be the end of the world. I don't know why I feel this way, but I'm always very responsible about it.